my people. Welcome back for part four of What's for Dinner? Cooking with a retired professional chef. That's me! So tonight we're making um, pork tenderloins, something I have not been able to get here in the Southwest unless I make it myself. They're incredibly easy, and they're tasty and delicious. And if you've never had this Midwest, like, miraculous feat of culinary yumminess, you need to try it. So in part one, we talked about what kind of meat to use and how to cut it. In part two, we tenderized it and flattened it out and breaded it. Well, started to bread it. In part three, we talked about the importance of resting in between each breading step, because that's what keeps the crust on. And we got them completely breaded and ready to go. It's my phone or it's the lights. I don't know. So we have our pork tenderloins here. They're rested. I'm also going to fry up some cheese curds that we got from Sam's Club. Lily originally asked for salad. And I was like, but cheese curds. Cheese curds. So it's cheese curds. Now you do want to deep fry these, not shallow fry. And yes, this is used oil. Banana. I don't have any way of knowing when my oil's ready. Do you have something that's wood? Doesn't matter if it's a wooden spoon, skewer, or whatever. Chopstick. Take and put it down into the oil. See how it's starting to bubble? It's not quite there. The other thing that's helpful is stir your oil a little bit. That's the way you want it. And if you don't have anything wooden, take a piece of your breading and drop it in. It should bubble immediately. That's ready to go. Now we're going to set this gently in the oil. Cook one or two at a time until golden brown. This should only take about three minutes. Now even though you're deep frying these, you do need to turn them over after a few minutes. If you don't flip them, the cooler oil will pull on top and it can make that part soggy. Take them out when they're golden brown. Put it on a paper towel lined sheet or a cooling rack. Place the next one in. Immediately put some salt on this. Put whatever seasonings you want on it while it's hot or it won't stick. This has literally been two minutes and flip. Give it a minute to come back up to temp and drop in your cheese curds. Immediately start stirring them just gently. This particular brand takes about six minutes. While those are cooking, let's make our sandwiches. So I put the buns in the air fryer for about two and a half minutes. On the bottoms, I'm putting our favorite mustard. Dusseldorf style or beer mustard. Love these. I'm putting bread and butter pickles on the other half of mine and a little tiny bit of lettuce. This is the only time I think shredded lettuce is necessary. Additionally, they do not have lettuce, nor do they have tomato. We like it, so we're going to have it. Place your meats on the buns. And yes, traditionally it is supposed to be bigger than the bun. There's the cross view. So there you have it. Two very Midwestern meals of pork tenderloin. Let's try it. Mmm, hot. It is mustardy. It is salty. It is good. 